Hello and welcome. In this video, I'll be taking you through how to set up attendance on ZK Bioassets IVS. This function of the timetable is used to set the time zone that we used in the attendance calculation and configuring of the information of each parameters with the minimum unit set. So for example, you want to set or you want to allow lateness early leave or overtime or whether you want to also put it there if it is necessary for your staff and employee to check in or check out or you also want to schedule for overtime within and in your organization it is here you are going to achieve that and so that is why it is important that you get this setting right now to set your timetable on zk bioassets ivs you go to your attendance module once you click your attendance module, you come to attendance setting. Under your attendance setting, you click on attendance, I mean, you, you, you go to schedule. Under schedule, you see timetable, you click on timetable. And then in the timetable, you click on add normal time slot. Now, under the normal time slot, remember to fill in every necessary details, especially the details where it is asterisk with red. So the first one we want to uh, we want to fill here is the name of the timetable. So for the purpose of this of this video, I'll be naming this timetable work period. Work period. And then I'll put my check in the check in here means when you want your check-in to start in the morning so your check-in could be uh, uh, i mean come within the range of any time that you want to set it could be also in the afternoon for companies or organizations that are working on shifts so your check-in for the purpose of this course the check-in here will be six in the morning and then you can also set your checkout for whatever time that you want to put it in the afternoon or in the evening so for the purpose of this training, I will be setting my checkout for six, 16 o'clock. Now, before going to work, before going to work, check-in is valid within one minute. So before going to work, here yeah, means that when you want to sign in to start work, you want to also set in a parameter or a minute for people to check in. So for people who are coming in and then you want to give them a minute or two for them to check in to start work then you can also set it so for the purpose of this training i'll be putting it for 40 minutes and then before going off duty checking is valid so before going off duty you want to go off duty you can also check out of that going off of duty you can set in for the minute that you also want to set that so that could also be 40 minutes 50 minutes or whichever numbers that you also want to achieve now after work after work um, check-in is valid so perhaps you come into the office and then you had closed but then you are not so quick enough to remember to to, to check out you can also set in to put in for after work check check-in so if anyone had worked and then they need to check in after work you can also schedule that for 50 minutes or within the range of time that you also want to achieve the same thing applies to check after work check in is valid so you you, you set all these parameters in accordance to what you want to achieve in your timetable now we have allow lateness now perhaps you want to give room for lateness uh you could also set room for lateness between the numbers of minutes that you also want to you also want to schedule so i want to allow lateness i could say 30 minutes so 30 minutes lateness for whoever that is coming in or want to check in 30 minutes lateness also you also want to allow early leave so perhaps you close four o'clock but then you also want to give room for early leave so you could say okay five minutes four minutes three minutes early leave so if anyone leaves early earlier than the time you close maybe for four minutes or five minutes then it means that there will not be any penalty to that person so i put five five minutes here then you also want to say must check in if you want people to if you want it to be a if you want it to be composed that anyone that is coming to work checking 
you can also achieve that here so i put must check in yes and then must check out it's composite that you check out when you check in in the morning you must also check out in the afternoon so you also put that there so now you also want to do auto deduct break time so if i are doing auto deduct break time it means if you are working between eight o'clock in the morning to four o'clock in the evening and then your break time is between the hours of uh one in the afternoon to two o'clock or three o'clock that is 13 o'clock to 14 o'clock as the case may be so you can also say okay yes auto deduct break time so if it's auto, auto deducting break time you cannot come here and put in what time does break time start so for the purpose of this training i'll put 13 for break time and then break time ends 14. then you also want to calculate on duty you can also calculate on duty you can also put a parameter for on duty so parameter you could also put in perhaps 50 minutes and then the minimum time for uh for overtime right will be 30 minutes or 40 minutes that's the minimum that you give for overtime so then so for if you must pay anybody who's working on overtime the minimum time that you can consider for the overtime is 40 minutes and then you can also say on duty minutes for 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 overtime you set all of that there and then off duty you can also set off duty if you want to set off duty but all of these ones are not compulsory but then if you also need to you, you just want to appreciate uh, people that work overtime you can actually achieve all of that here now once all of these parameters are tidied up and filled you click on save and new Okay. The, the numbers of minutes of overtime before going to work is less than the number of minutes so you must ensure that so then so once all of this is done you ensure that whatever thing you are doing here are the same then you click ok because you have successfully created a timetable for your company so this comp this timetable that we created is a timetable for the normal timetable for your company is a work period so that is just a simple step on how to create timetable on zk bioassets ivs thank you for listening